kind of been crumbling these last couple of days. I really want to see them hit their stride again. They are such a treat to watch when they are on their game, but maybe maybe something is off right now. Maybe we'll have to see. We do have a draft available for game number two. So let's jump into the second match of this best of three upper bracket playoff game and see if Vici can get yet another advantage. You know what? Yeah, just I want to hear, mm -hmm. hear Nomad's predictions for these first Ten two picks. Remaining. For the first two picks. Yes, um, I would like to know what is coming out. Remaining. <sighs> okay, I mean, do I get to see the bands first or do I have to just go straight in? Just go. No, tell me, tell me what they're doing this time. All right, all right. Well, uh, I mean, bands, we're probably going to get... Oh, what have they been banning? I don't remember. Um, we've had a lot of DK um, being contested. TA's been contested. I reckon Vici maybe ban TA here. Although they have first pick. Maybe they want to ban. All right, they'll ban DK. Astor will ban... Radiant team ban. Something else. Or a Wyvern. Uh oh it's off to Vici a bad start. Um, yeah, Vici are going to open with TA, and then Astro are going to counter with... Uh, some heroes of their own. When you put me on the spot like this, I can completely forget what they're actually playing anymore. They'll go. Look, Nomad didn't come today expecting and... to be talking about heroes. He's like, yeah. I don't. At least I don't have to deal with that shit. I got these two guys for it. Yeah. <laughs> no. And now we really put them on the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna deliver. I'm gonna deliver. Right. Avicii go TA. Asta go Lion and Timbus. No, they're banned. Timbersaw's banned. Lion and. Nyx, no, that's banned as well. Shit. <laughs> well, there was a TA in there somewhere. You guys got what you asked for. <laughs> Dazzle. What? Dazzle? I should have gone with my heart, damn it. Nomad, how did you not read the Dazzle? How did like, I not read the a... Dazzle, guys? This is why you're not an analyst and you're just a host. All right. <sighs> well, Dazzle. Mira, tell us new... why the Dazzle was picked. Yeah. New hero. Have we all decided that new hero Five is just the way remaining. to win in this tournament? <laughs> Yeah. No, so obviously uh, minus armor with TA is very effective. That's pretty much what they're going for with it. There's not really much to say. Like there's a lot of utility in team fights with Grave, but there's a reason that Dazzle has fallen out of favor as a support and it's for reasons Steven has mentioned many times before, like what you're looking for out of your support in this meta, Dazzle does not provide. He doesn't have any disables, he doesn't have any burst damage. He is a save hero, but he isn't the type of save hero that you pair well with a lot of the heroes this meta. Like, for example, a Lush Rock. Do you think they picked the Dazzle to, like, try and counter some kind of a counter to Dragon Knight? Because he's always sitting in the middle of the creeps and in the lane. Maybe they want to just poison him and just chase him down a little bit and just, like, kind of kick him out of the lane and keep him, like, half health. That, that sounds Maybe. like a creative, creative approach to Dragon Knight, I'm sure. I mean, isn't TA Ten Dazzle pretty good? Remaining. I don't know. I don't know Psyblade's proc, the poison Five touch. Refresh okay, it. Nomad, you're really going into the dumpster <laughs> once again to find something to make it. That's not why they picked the Dazzle, I'm sure, to proc their poison with Psyblades. Dude, it's a good lane. <laughs> And they're color coordinated as well, which is really important. Ha has right. anyone uh, ever one told thing you, I will say, Nomad, uh, well, that you're too okay, smart okay. for your own good? No, yeah, Nomad is Nomad is a genius. They mostly say I'm too stupid <laughs> for my own goods. So that's nice to hear. Um, one thing I do like though is the Dazzle Shard into Illusion Carries is really nice. They pick TB into it. So if the Dazzle does end up going for the Shard, if he's not a plus five, then mm, true, it is good. Nice. Good so point. you, yeah, it's very good. I, okay. I like that. So. The thing about Vici's draft is when you have both of your like you know, when you have two cores showing in first phase, like it's really easy for Aster to play reactively here and just pick Ten to counter the lane. Remaining. We see that with Darkseer. Darkseer is one of the heroes that Terraflight does not like to play against. He doesn't like to play against him in lane. He doesn't like to play against him at later stages of the game because of the obvious the wall of replica and he can be run down in lane and die. Oh so and the shard too. Don't forget shard, that one. We've been seeing that every course. single game with the Darkseer now. Radiant team pick. So we the might shelter. have normally when a Dark Seer gets forced out as a counter to Terrorblade, teams respond with a Doom. But I don't know how well a Doom would fit into Vici's lineup right now. But I can see that being something that they're gonna look towards. Nice. The Astro pick up Earth Spirit, and Earth Spirit and Dark Seer is probably my favorite support core combination in Dota. It's strong. 
It's, it's really strong. Our spirit is a great hero to pair up with Iron Shell. He has a long range gap close. He benefits from the Ag Scepter later on. He can TP mid with Iron Shell on him and get kills on mid or on a side lane. Just overall, a very good Iron Shell carrier. Okay, so the Doom does come out like we were talking about hmm. earlier. This is a very standard response to a Darkseer. I think that if you pick Terravoid early in a draft, without banning Darkseer, you are expecting to pick a Doom later, so Radiant they don't seem too frazzled by this Doom pick. I mean, this Darkseer pick. Yeah, Doom into Dazzle, I mean, the Dazzle can sustain the Doom target, but, I mean, his healing is really bad. That's one of the reasons we don't see a lot of Dazzle. His see, healing this is, is just poo. The problem with Aster's lineup right now, they only have and one burst damage here, and that's in the Templar Assassin. Yeah. And TA is not bursting Dragonite or Terrible. <laughs> No, he's not. She's not. So there's some, yeah, they, like they're looking for this long drawn out fights and I, I'm not really sure what the hero it is for Asa right now that can like solidify their draft. But VG are looking like they're going to have three tanky beasts all with BKBs at the front and ready to push ahead. And that is so <laughs> scary. Like if I look at VG's draft, I'm like, I'm shivering right now. Like it's scary. I said it as a meme earlier, but I kind of want them to put the TA in the safe lane and get something Radiant mid, which can kind of control the tempo of the game a bit better, VG because gaming. if they go for something TA... greedy on the core, it's going to be rough. Well, they need they need some kind of high damage core to come out on Aster mm -hmm. as well. TA alone is not going to be enough. They, Like Demon said, these are very strong, beefy heroes. They're, they're yep. going to need some more Radiant damage output. Picked. And you know one thing about Aster's lineup too? Like, they can't really run away in this game. Because they're playing against the Shropter. So the Surge is not going to have too much value defensively. That's a very good point. And you're always going to be able to bring them back when they're when Aster is trying to disengage from the Metamorph. That's True. a very good it's point. Very and you were talking about how Dazzle could sustain the Doom target, but he is playing against the Disruptor. If the Disruptor decides to just handle him, find him in team fights, he can. Yeah. Well, Brewmaster, another very strong team fighting hero here. So, you think that's a position four brew? Is there any potential for position four Doom or DK as well? Hmm. This is pretty flexible, but what if it's? It's no. safe to say that's not a position one Brewmaster and a position is... five Brewmaster. No, it's not. I that is safe. I don't think it's a three Brewmaster. They PYW I think is the only one that really plays Brewmaster on this team. So yeah. yeah, there you go. I'll pick up the brew. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and PL pick. I I actually dig it. I think this is That's a nice. very smart pick. Um, it's good against. It's actually surprisingly good against Dragonite. Like even though he's got splash, it's like very like low DPS splash and. Uh, PL can actually do more damage to him. Yeah, great at removing mana of Terra Blade. Uh, going on Disruptor. Disruptor ulti is actually kind of scary for the Phantom Lancer if you ever catch it him is. with the kinetic I was, field. I, I was gonna comment that as a as a Disruptor player, I do like playing against PLs. Not if I'm having a bad game because PL can just yeah. go on you and <laughs> kill you. <laughs> with the it can just go on you and kill you. But <laughs> if you do have vision of him, you you can you can put a halt to him mm -hmm. in bits. I, I think this this was a good pick from Aster here. Yeah, it was really probably was. the best pick they could have had. I'm surprised VG didn't ban up Phantom Lancer when they have TB and Doom. Like Doom can't actually Doom PL. It's so hard unless he gets to like Shiva's. Um, and they might yes. even consider like a Radiance actually in this game. It's good against Templar Assassins, good against PL. But yeah, actually, now that I mention it, um, the same items counter PL and TA. Radiance and Shiva's. So... If they actually itemize properly here, I think the late game is in the hands of uh, BG. Okay, I'll give this okay. one to BG because they're very comfortable with their Doom lineups, and yeah, I me too. I just I really like what they did with their draft. I th I think they have a good answer to every hero except maybe the PL. But like Steven said, that can be dealt with with items. There's also the structure factor. Uh, I'll give it to BG. I have faith. I'll go with BG to as well for VG. <sighs> You guys make good points, you know. I, I, I find it very difficult to disagree with you guys. I, I want to be the contrarian and go for Asta, but uh, I'm sorry, Asta, but their performance has just not been up to scratch. I think it's a uh, creative draft, but yeah, I'm going to go beat you with this one. But let's throw it over to our commentary duo to find out who's going to be taking game number two. It is BQ up, and it is my Farah. 
Thank you very much. Coming into this second game, we'll see if Vici can pull off the 2-0 over Aster. If they've got a little bit more fight in them. Need a lot more fight than what they had in the previous game. So we'll see what Aster bring to the table on this one. Couple new heroes showing up, Mo. You gonna support the new heroes or are you gonna support the Vici lineup? I think Dazzle is a very underrated hero in general. I think it has good flex potential as well. But I think they are really going to struggle to deal with this like DK timing relatively early on. I think there's a lot of pressure on the Dark Sea and the Earth Spirit this game. But uh, if they can get off, to, get off to a good start, maybe get this re you know relatively early first Roche on the TA, mm -hmm. the I'd, I'd be persuaded otherwise. I just think Asta just haven't looked that good. You know, and no matter what they would have picked this game, I don't think I could have gone for them anyway. It just it feels like they're having a bad day. So it's going to be Doom top against the Darks here, which is kind of, I'd say, half expected now by this point. We've seen so many lanes like that. And it looks like they're trying to swap the lanes on the Radiant side. So the Darks is running bottom and the PL is running top. You think this lane swap is going to be enough, though? Uh, I mean, they want to get the lanes that they can, right? They want to put the um, the PL against the Doom, because the Doom doesn't really stop the PL from being able to farm. And you see this meld at level 1 from the TA. Not something we've seen this tournament, but it has been relatively popular against these melee heroes, like the Ember as well is another one. I'm waiting to see if Ori does, in fact, die this game, as he went unkilled in the last one. He's so, quite tanky overall. It could be a bit of a problem to kill him on this DK, but we'll see. So if, if you notice, the Dyer have a ward in the Radiant bot jungle that saw the lane swaps. So they saw the Darks are going to bot lane, so they've sent the Doom back bot again. There's one there. There's one just further up as well, to the left. Um, so they saw the lane swaps, right? Mm -hmm. And it means that they can um, get the lane decisions that they want because they've seen it on vision whereas um yeah Asta haven't had the uh the same luxury unfortunately for them so tb's gonna get to play against the pl doom's gonna get to go against that dark set yeah feels pretty good for vici yeah so far so good we'll see if they can keep it up they had a quite the role in the first game uh, and they certainly should have a lot of confidence coming into this one yeah. Look at this value devourer as well while he's swapping lanes. He finds the small camp, eats the creep, and then gets the speed creep so he can run faster to the bot lane. That's uh that's value. Probably the most value that you can get. Yeah, it actually is. This this PL is gonna struggle with the um the TB early on. I think, obviously, as the game goes on, PL one of the better cores at dealing with that hero. T uh, TB can't really deal with the illusion spam. You know, very yeah. single target focus. We'll see if what the panel alluded to comes to fruition in that the disruptor catches this PL and you catch him in a static storm and he's unable to get out. He's in a lot of trouble. Wasn't there an OGA event in the past where there was a TV versus PL game and it like froze the whole thing? Was that OGA? It might have been. I can't remember. And it like the game crashed because Reflection used to get all the illusions of all the PL illusions. So yeah, that was that was fun. <laughs> They've changed it now, but. This DK is doing really well mid lane up against the TA as well. Or are you just feeling start. himself? Yeah. Uh, and that's the power of the sun though, right? Having the sustain in the lane up against this you know, TA normally that just chips and chips away at you. Throwing out quite a bit of damage early on too. Nine and seven to the seven and five there. Bottom lane, old 11 getting run back. But they ignite the Cinder Brew with that Scorched Earth. 
I think he's going uh, hood on the Doom again this game. I would imagine. Does he pick up the Ring of Health, go devour into a, back into a Midas, or does he like finish the hood and no Midas at all? I, I think we've mainly seen them go for the hood straight up if they want it. Oh, there's a rotation. Oh, yo, yo, TPing back to the tier one. Three heroes top, unable to get that kill on the TB. And I have a bad feeling that might be uh, something else that happens again in the laning stage, the, the lack of stuns, you know, especially after the rolling boulder has been used. Being their worst enemy. They actually bring the Brun out top. So it's going to be what well, looks to be a try v try. And that leaves Doom to kind of do whatever he wants. And we'll see how much old 11 is able to farm off that. Yes, the same thing can be said for XXS, but you know, devour, obviously Devour and potentially a Midas. Uh, you get a lot of gold here on this Doom and it can really start to get out of hand. PYW also already level three. They're trying to hold the water in. Yeah, for the TA. Oh, roll hits. DY going down for first blood. White Album gets credit for that one. PYW. Oh, kills him in, in the, the fountain. Base. That's not too bad, though, because he doesn't get any XP on the brew, right? So, yeah, it's annoying. He uses TP get, trying to get away, but... And it's a risk worth taking, and he also ends up, like, not giving any, away any XP, so... Mm -hmm. I, I can... Yeah, I can get behind that. Oh, that's so annoying. Using the heal to get rid of CS. Kinetic Fuel, oh, Lanham getting chased. He will throw out that poison yes. touch, but he's not going to survive long. <laughs> yeah, and the CS across the board really favoring Vici at the moment. Lots of denies this game as well. You know, 12 on the TV, 12 on DK, but also a decent amount on the Radiant side too. So, more than normal. Yeah, definitely a lot of denying going on. Orax now showing bottom, and they actually have three heroes bot. Try and go after old 11. The TP situation isn't great for Vici. There's no TP on this brew or the disruptor. They roll in, boulder smash, vacuum back. Old 11 in a lot of trouble. The poison touch with it, and old 11 trying to survive. But, ooh, actually, we'll get the kill on a Borax before he falls. They'll bring over Ori, who will finish off Lana. Yeah, okay. nicely by Ori, by Ori. I mean, the Doom gets the XP from killing the Earth Spirit first, though, as well, so it's not even too bad. Uh, the important thing is here, that, and we mentioned it last game, when there's these big creep waves coming under tower, even if the DK hadn't got the Dazzle there, you want someone there to be able to, like, leech up the XP, and the Brew just takes over mid, where the DK was before. So they're being really efficient on um, on Vici, making sure they don't lose out on any of that um, precious XP before the level 6 marks. Right. Uh, especially on the supports as well. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And they get to go back the other way now because it was the catapult wave and the DK's popped out. So, yeah, so with nice that Elder damage. Dragon form, just trying to get in onto that tier one. By the way, the hood's finished and he does have that Midas queued up. A go for XXS. Dragon Tail breathe fire and Old Eleven having Thunderclap. The damage dead. with a Scourged Earth. They just get a quick kill there, but Poyoyo up in the top lane. He falls to the three heroes here of Aster. They're going to get the tier one by. Yeah, that, that, that's the difference, right? They both get kills in the side lanes, but the tower going down as well. Big, big favor for Vici. Uh, Vici, I think DY's in trouble here. They, I don't think they have any TPs, right? Let's see. Mm. Yeah, Monet gets kill on a DY. Right now, Ori leads the net worth. Continuing to just surge here what does he have coming out on the dk he's got something coming out on his career already because he's pretty cp in a wand right okay just a wand because we've seen the armlet dk this tournament i was wondering whether he might consider going for it this game you know, if he and... wants to scale a little bit more Oh, well, they're getting the top tier one. Elder Dragon Form is going to be popped again on Ori. He'll try to get a tier one over mid. Top tower has fallen. The tower goes down. A chip vest for Vici. Lanham. 
and a plus one here of the earth spirit for X. Does he go for this? They've got yeah, TA wrapping around the back. There's a DD as well, top that TA's about to get. They have to be careful because these two Vici supports aren't the strongest before the level six mark. And when they hit their level sixes, they are incredibly difficult to deal with. There's the roll as well as the trap. They've got the kinetic field, so that'll keep White Album close enough to his tower where he can't catch up to Ori. Doom used now onto Monet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think if you'd have had the Scorched Earth straight, uh, scorched earth up straight away, it would have been fine. And now Old Eleven's probably dead for this, unless uh, he can just... get out and the roll's there, so there's no chance at that. And they'll he hold the last out. hit for Monet. He buys out the phase boost, though, before he dies on the Doom, so he doesn't really lose any gold for it. So, yeah, pretty good for him. Very odd. Oh, PYW. Yeah, they, they, really need to, they really need to get XP on the brew. And they're trying to get this to level 6. So he's kind of just sitting down here trying to leech some XP. But yeah, they're punishing him hard. Both teams get an optic. That's nice. And yeah, the supports are struggling on the on the side of VG because you're only level 4 on both supports while Dazzle 6 and Earth Spirit's 5. These supports are going to have their levels ready to go on Aster. Granted, we're getting close to the level or to the 10 minute mark where you'll pick up that tome for one of them, which will probably be PYW. But that's not going to feel as good as both supports on Aster having that a XP advantage. Trying to burn away at Monet here. But yeah, I agree. Um, like we said, the disruptor level six is so important. Through level six is so important. You can't have both. It will be interesting to see how they prioritize, because I think there is a chance that DY could get it. But right, there you go, PYW. Oh boy. Going in for the TV, they've got the silence wall down, Poyoyo dead again. Lanham gets the kill, and I'm not sure if Vici should go after this. They'll go for Lanham, and well, they'll at least get one. Roll in, hits onto Ori, who's taking a lot of damage here. And for the first time this series, he's gonna die. They bring over Old Eleven, who's got the Thunderclap. Now the Cinderbrew down, but they've surged away XXS. They'll look to roll Borax out, but they've got him surrounded. No, oh, oh wow, really? Now it looks like he's still dead, but I was surprised he got that roll through. It seemed like it was right on top of one of the heroes of Vici. Still in Bayer. Don't worry. Not sure if I imagine that, but yeah, it looked like it, it should have uh, should have hit a hero. They're looking towards the uh, PL here because they have the Bruce split as well. Yeah, and they have. Oh, they're Doom. gonna miss him. Good TP. Yeah, they they saw the end of the TP, so they know, but. So they get the D walkers of it though, so that's something. Or he's got Blink Dagger coming out. Yeah, it's such a big timing in the game, especially against these like mobile heroes like the PL. See if you can use that Blink Dagger effectively. And he's just gonna go for that Blink BKB build. As expected on the DK, very standard. I wondered whether he might swerve away from it slightly, but just the norm. Smoke up. They could find Monet, they would get the Blink Dragon Tail into the Doom, but he's back towards bottom. He's actually away from this, and the smoke's gonna break as Lanham breaks that smoke being over by the river, and now Lanham trying to TP out, but DY ready with the glimpse. Uh, uh, the TA just tried to unblock her ancient camp as well, but the sentry doesn't cover the whole camp, so she uh, does not find the ward that's blocking it, unfortunately. Hmm. White Album. They know exactly they know where, where he is, is but he's standing there. May not be the wisest oh, idea. No. Static Storm is down. Ori out a little bit far. Magnetize comes in. They get the silence on to this Brewmaster. He finally gets the Primal split off. He now needs to get out of dodge. Not looking that easy for him to do. The Brew... I mean, the Earth Panda's still there. 
Kinetic field, PYW back to form, roll out, and they're going to lose both supports now because oh, of this. Great, great catch by Borax. Like they, find they, they were always going to get PYW right, but he finds the extra plus one in DUI. That was awesome. I will say Aster controlling, but I think the bigger shock is the fact that Vichy still lead by 2k. Yeah, but it's the it's the Midas and the Devour on the Doom, right? More than anything. And TB's just free farming this whole time. Is it though? There's bringing... the, all three cores on Vichy are at the top. Is it just the Doom like gold that's making the difference? I mean, they've been at the top for a while though, right? So they take a yeah. bad fight, but with, if the TB's not there and the whole of Astor's team are like they're farm uh, fighting, right? Then it's time they're not spent farming. So it's still really good for them, but yeah. Obviously, TB farms so quickly that if you don't farm for like a minute on PL, you, you do fall behind a little bit. They found Doom. And he will Doom the Darks here. And that's with the rest of the team starting to come They're up. coming in, over. Doing the back line. Static Storm committed on the Earth Spirit. Now they're starting to chase the other way. When he had started this with a Diffusal Blade on old 11, now he's out of mana and he might be out of life real quickly. And that's exactly the case. They get the kill on Old 11. It's going to be a trade for a support. And now, oh, well, ooh, they get Old 11. They've got a three-man vacuum wall. DY trying to TP out. They get the kill on this Disruptor. They look over at Ori, who will TP away. But again, PYW's dead too. That is a three for one. Vici a little bit overconfident in the way they step forward on that. I Really yeah. interested to see the mindset of them moving forward like that. I mean, they committed a lot for the Earth Spirit though, right? That was that was the big thing. Like they dropped the static storm on him, and everything on him. So that afterwards, when they find this like darkster in PL, the dooms eventually run off, but they have nothing left in the tank. And great back wall from the darkster. Though. That's the second time this game, and we're only 15 minutes in. That was a post doom back wall on three. This PL with diffuser is doing a good amount of work as well. But here comes the TB to the fight. Yeah, you know, Lanham stunned and Lanham killed by PYW. They're trying to find more. They might. They might. Monet Cyclones. And do they have the catch for this? Orax coming over. Geomagnetic Grip. That's going to stop him from getting the stun out. Now he's got the illusions. He has the ability to leave. Well done by Borax and Vici are in oh, the deep. They've got the glimpse into the static storm. This is a problem for Monet trying to run and a six time spree goes to Poyoyo. Vici are persistent and they get the kill that they came for. Look at that yeah, disruptor. D, D by holding these wards so we can get glimpses in fights is... Yeah, he's really clutch today. And this, this TV is just so far ahead now. That's the gold for Manta. He'll finish that off, and he still has about a thousand gold to work with. I think Vici to really start pulling ahead. Yes, they're up 4K, but I think the big objective is them getting Roche over Aster, and that's always the talking point when you're up against the TA lineup, right? Sorry, say that again. The Roche. Yeah, getting that first Roche yeah. over Aster, especially when you've got a TA on your side. Yeah, I, I think so. And it's it's difficult for the Radiant to just run into the Roche. Right? They have to get a pick off or anything before, but it feels like Vici with this like strong five man we've seen from them two games in a row. They're like on a on a different level in, in this series so far, it feels like. They're not afraid to just group up and try to look for these engagements. You know, the TB was away before when he was farming and they were running around as four, but you can see as soon as he hits his timing, he's willing to get stuck in and get involved. This, um, I think this DK getting BKB is going to be a huge okay. deal as well because they don't really deal with this DK very well once he has it. And he's going to have that um, level 2 dragon fall with the extra like splash damage and everything. Mm -hmm. So PL is in a, a little bit of trouble. It's not great, but it's a, kind of like a pseudo answer to it, right? Like in a small way. Maybe it helps you reveal or like at least narrow down which PL is real in the pack. Will the real PL please stand up? The real PL never reveals itself. Ecop, you should know that. 
No. But slippery. I thought that defusal was gonna really input a lot more into that last fight. I started going after old Eleven, got that kill on the Doom. They were able to get the kill on a Monet. It's a big spree for them to take out of his hands too. Doom almost has his blink, so he'll be able to close the gap, get that Doom out. If you're Phantom Lancer, which uh, neutral are you really looking for? Uh, I mean, Imp Claw is pretty good on that hero. I like Van Brace is okay. There's quite a few. Like, Aquila is pretty good. People Gift is pretty good. <laughs> There's get, the Aquila. There's the People's Gift. Yeah, he's going to take the Aquila. Or the Aquila for some people. Aquila. PYW getting taken out by Lanham. Four heroes come over towards yes. mid, and that was the pickoff that they might need to go potentially for they're Roche, for but they're looking for more, and we'll get a plus one in DY. Double shot by White Album, and now Vici, who I thought might have a chance at Roche, now need to try and deter Aster from taking it, and I'm not sure that's possible. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to get, for them to get into the pit. It's like three versus five already, right? So... Oh, they're gonna hunt again still though. They found the Doom, they've got the silence XXS staying on them while they go for Roche. It's two-man stun. PYW coming over, and now the Doom's gonna be out onto this Dark Seer. They use the primal split to get the Aegis into the hands of White Album with the shallow grave saving XXS, but for how long? Old Eleven continues to chase the Infernal Blade. That'll get the finishing blowout onto the Dark Seer. Now they're gonna try and roll out of this one, but it's right onto Ori. They'll find themselves a second. Oh, Old Eleven sitting low. Monet focusing his attention with the star. Oh, good stop. Oh, dear, Monet! He's found out to be counterfeit Monet, and they get the kill on the PL. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem with taking two separate fights, though, right? Where you're trying to take the Roche on your two course, and the other three are like, oh my god, we found a Doom, let's go! But the two course are nowhere near because they need to finish off the Roche and get the Aegis. And all of a sudden, the turnaround comes in with the TPs to the Tier 2 tower, and you're just, you're like, oh, guys, why have we, um, why are we not just at the Roche with our team? You know, like, this dude's pretty tanky, he's hard to kill. <laughs> I can't believe Monet turned up to the fight here at the end because he doesn't isn't the one with the Aegis, remember? Yeah. Because even if he gets old 11 here, he's still going to die for it. He doesn't even get that. He's so far behind the TB. Almost 5,000 net worth behind. It's TB saving up 3,100 gold. Good run. And again, both supports... All sports from Vici have combined for 11 of the 17 deaths. This Dark Seas looks so good today. We've seen so many great combos. Really well played by uh, Asta. And a bit of a different build from Max XS on this Dark Seer than what we've seen previously. We've seen a lot of Ags into the Shard. This time Hood going in and finishing that pipe. He's got the Blink Dagger. Yeah, pipe is really valuable this game. It's just, it's really expensive now. Do you remember when it used to be like really cheap? We would see it every single game. One yeah. of the, one of the worst things that was. But we're in a, a bliss, blissful, peaceful time now. <laughs> where people just build Aeon Disc every game instead. That's, that's really fun. Oh, the, the best timeline. Because yeah. well, nobody dies. We were so getting the... uh, close to that, Scotty, and yeah, well, you were going to say BKB on Doom? On the DK, I was Oh, say. man. I tried to read your mind. <laughs> but um, yeah, this, this, this BKB reveal is going to be huge. They want to use this like this timing, though, right? Um, try and find an opening. I don't want to force it too hard, it seems. Oh, there's a gem on Disruptor. Okay. Relatively early. Which is interesting considering how 
much they've focused killing these supports. Yeah, but maybe he's thinking, well, he can only kill us because they see us. So if I D ward, they'll stop killing us. What what does the word D ward mean? I don't I don't hear that much in my pubs. <laughs> don't worry, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> so I'm good where I am. Yeah, there's one. There's oh, the no, D ward, the but there goes the gem. Already dropped down. Why not one tries to scoop it? He has That's ages. Though. Really greedy. Oh, shallow grave on the on the darks here. I think that was a bit of a misclick. They kind of overlapped each other. And now he's caught in the static storm. They'll get the kill on a white album. They'll take out the TA. Geomagnetic grip onto this doom. They've got the doom out onto the darks here. There's the cycle, and they'll drop him down. Ori moves forward. Dragon tail out onto the dazzle. Infernal blade once again. Breathe fire roll comes out from Borax. It's going to be through. Back oh, what a roll. roll! It's massive on the four with the silence on the five. They got a full five man silence, but it still doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. They finally get the kill on Ori. They're going to look over his line. trying to chase. Boyoyo sitting low Take has a chin. thunder. DY. Uh oh. He's dead again, and Poyoyo will get out. Right, where's the gem? Where's it gone? I Cur courier has it. Courier has it. On the Dis side, Disruptors right? courier picked it up. Okay. Because he's uh, giving my gem back to you. It's mine. I think he... But this... Oh, this, this looks so good. The DK tried to blink and stun the darks here, but he accidentally found the dazzle instead. And so then watch like this stops. vacuum wall with it. Oh, the grave comes in just in time, so they get the vac wall combo off. Wow. From, from boomer fingers clicking on Darkseer to zoomer fingers clicking on Darkseer for the right time. <laughs> oh, he get, passes over the gem to the courier there just before he dies. That's pretty well played. Yeah, I, I mean, the thing is with the vac wall, you get the TB illusion, but you also get the DK8. Um, Oh, illusion, right? So you get two really, um, really useful ones. And this PL, all of a sudden, you know, really starting to catch up. Survives the last fight. He's feeling good. Wow, they think it's in Vici. That's his favor this whole time still. Wow. Even though they're behind in net worth. It's interesting. I mean, it is a very good PL game. You know, we should. We really have to highlight that. If it, if it gets to like that, you know, 40 minute mark and the PL's got the four items or whatever, he's going to feel really horrible to deal with. Almost a BKB on Earth Spirit, actually. A thousand gold away. It's a lot of gold needed for support. Mm, yeah, it is. But it's within reach now, right? Sure. Look, look at the Radiance support's net worth in comparison to the Dyer's. Yeah. It's, it's poor Disruptor. This Disruptor that is getting close to a shard. Most of that net worth's a gem as well. And <laughs> hey, don't drop it again. <laughs> don't lose this. It's a... Uh... It's almost a, a full 25% of my net worth. So they're going to look to get the top two one. Did they push for more? Scotty finished. Metamorphosis off cooldown. Uh, seems like they are. They're trading their bot tier 1 for it, but they want to try and force the fight here. They understand that as the game gets later and later, it's going to get more difficult, so... Wing Dragon oh, Tower the through here. onto the Darkseer. Shallow Grave, and it looked like Doom was going to use the Doom onto the Darkseer, but I don't think he needs it. They'll just get the kill instead with the BKB being popped by old 11 as well as Ori. They'll take the tier 2 with that. He, he might need to buy back on the Darkseer here, because they have potential to keep going, right, with the meta and the DK form. Okay, they're going to back off. Fair enough. Oh, DK's almost got Ags, actually. Yeah, 500 gold away from that. Yeah, that has really enough good. gold for a shard, but... I'm wondering... Yeah, okay, now he bought out on it. 
I was wondering if he might switch to something else as he had collected about 1,800 gold. Oh, DD rune. Light up. Yeah, I think the shard's really good, though. He's going, like, full utility, right? Oh, mm -hmm. roll misses. Second Roche in two minutes. Yeah, second Roche. Very, very important, as we know. <laughs> the shard disrupt is so good. It feels great, honestly. Yeah, it does feel good. For anyone that doesn't know, it gives you like a, every time it hits you with the thunder strike, it gives you a small boost of like I think is it movement speed and attack speed. It's seventy five sure. attack speed and fifty percent movement speed. Oh okay. Each That's strike gives a one point two five second buff of those two. But it's it's a weird one because it like you get hit by it right, you get a little buff and then it disappears again for a little bit and then you get hit again. Ooh, they're coming around the back. They're trying to make something happen here. The Dragon Toe comes out. They've got the Silent Sound of the Disruptor who drops down the Static Storm. It's going to be right on top of the Earth Spirit. They get the kill on the DY. Now looking the other way. The Doom's going to come through into the Dark Seer. That means no vacuum wall. They should be able to get themselves more than just Borax. Borax buys back immediately with the Shadow Grave coming into the Dark Seer. They'll also look in go over onto Lanham. They finish off the Dazzle. Darkseer still not dead. He might even get out of this one, but he turns back around and dies to old 11. I thought he might just walk it out. Or he goes down. Sunder used Poyoyo, though. Taking a lot of damage. Not a lot of mana to work with. They'll get the kill. Monet takes him out. Double damage here for White Album. Now going to be able to chase after PYW and a roll what a from roll. Borax. Lands on the money and a full team wipe for Aster. I think that fight goes so badly for Aster if they don't have the DD on the TA. I, it's, so, it's like completely different because they don't burst the heroes the same way. Like the Doom gets killed so quickly because he doesn't have a huge amount of armor in the back line. And yes, they do the Dark Seer and everything. And yes, they kill the Dazzle in the end, but it takes them so long. And all of a sudden, they're just at the high ground. They're at the high ground. And I don't think Vici want to buy back on these heroes. Crystalis on the TA, so she's going to start to hit even harder on this tower now. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's so second Roche just spawning here. Can they get to the pit? DK up in 14. And really feel the effectiveness of that red eyes black dragon. Brings out the inner Joey Wheeler in us all. So they realize they have to smoke it. They need to contest this Roche. They can't give it away for free. They're going to come over. They vacuum. Immediately into the BKB. He doesn't have the Elder Dragon form just yet. And they're going to go to the Primal Split and try and make something happen here. Blink doing? forward. And he is in onto the Dazzle. But... He is without Doom, uh, taking a lot of damage, pops the BKB, and now they're going to focus their attention on the Borax, who pops his own BKB. They get the kill on the 11, they're going to take up the Doom, they look over now at BYW. The damage out from the TB, but Borax saved thanks to the Shallow Grave of Lanham. They'll buy back on PYW, but they're without the Doom for 60 seconds. They got the wall down to the roll, it's going to come through all the way on Boyoyo. Kick him back into the fight, and now focus over on a DY. They get the kill on the Borax, finally, the damage from Boyoyo is just not enough. He finally has that Thunderstrike, right clicks in onto the Dark Seer. But Poyoyo in some trouble. I say in some trouble, but he takes out XXS. They've got the Dragon Toe to kill off Lanham, and maybe I spoke a little bit too soon, but they finally get the kill on the DY. White Album from behind the back has the Meld Strike with the BKB. The gem's on the deck, and Ori trying to get away with a sliver of health. PYW comes back in and picks up the gem. Now no mana on White Album, and the damage in from Poyoyo. He's got a triple kill. Looking over at Monet, he silenced up, pops the Manta, running over at PYW, and now trying to retreat. Does Poyoyo look for more? He doesn't have the Metamorphosis, but he does have a double damage, and now minus armor on him. Monet focuses his attention okay. onto the Terror Blade. He's got the Satanic to get back up on a full health. PYW ends up dead to Lanham. Lanham will help out Monet with a shallow grave when needed, and that's going to come out immediately with Ori popping the DK or getting that stun from the DK. Vacuum back, and now a Sunder on XXS. Poyoyo, not a lot of mana to work with, but they've got themselves the Doom back alive. He'll run back into the fight. He's got a blink. If he can get on these heroes, the Shiva slows down Lanham. Ori catching up, and there's the shallow grave with a BKB being popped by Ori, but they'll get away on Aster, maybe even looking to turn it around once again. Holy moly, what a fight. There's so many different things there that were just happening all at once. I mean, the Doom, the fight starts with the Doom just running in, right? And basically just playing his own game. 
you know, the rest of each, you couldn't get anywhere near him, and he dies straight away. Radiant's but towards the end of the fight, you can see they managed to grave the PL, right? And the DK comes in with the stun, but the stun ends just before the grave duration does. So that he's able to get the doppelganger off and just get away. Such close margins. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And very close indeed, and this game is back to even. Roche is up, and Poyoyo is in there with Ori. We'll see if Aster can come over. They don't have TA for six seconds. Illusions will invade, and they'll only spot a TB illusion. So this is going to be a fight once again, but this time they've got Doom back up. They'll have the primal split. Brewmaster up in two, and, uh, and and should be able to just TP over to the outpost and join his team. But instead, he's going to choose to walk. My goodness. <laughs> that last fight just was so long. I like that he's got... um. The Mjolnir queued up on the TB as well. I think that's really important this game. I meant smoke from Vici. I, I was thinking he might go butterfly, but oh money. Not... Oh, are they gonna oh, see they him? Just miss him. They still want to walk Jeez. down. They want to walk down top. Monet's on the high ground. The rest of the team is waiting. They've got the Brick Glaze Earls, the Dragon Tail. They're going to go after this Dazzle. They've got the Kinetic Field down with the BKBB pop by Borax. He's going to try and roll out of this one. They've got the Silence and the Magnetize on a couple of these heroes on the side of Vici. But they get the kill on XXS. Old 11 dealing with the Sliver of Hell with the BKBB pop by White Album. He goes into the mail, but they've got themselves the Vision and get the kill on a White Album. Three heroes did without buyback on the side of Aster. They're going to focus their attention on Monet, who's trying to get up onto the high ground and away from this Vici side. But the BKB and oh my God, the, the Red Eyes Black Dragon and he goes right up the cliff and goes after Monet. It is scary when the Elder Dragon form has that Ags behind it. Oh, it's like a better version of Game of Thrones. I love it. A better version than the last season, that's for sure. Yeah, fortunately so. It looks so good as well, that model. I really like it. What a fight, though. Um, they, with that vision advantage they have from smoking round, right? They pick off the Dazzle with the stun on the DK, and they instantly doom the Darks here at the same time. It's like the perfect initiation for Vici. It doesn't get any better than that. And Astra kind of coming over to the pit here. They don't have any vision inside by the looks of it, but Borax. Oh, all coming in. Silence! Aegis picked up by Poyoyo. BKB by Borax. Oh, he... I think he would... Okay, he might get out anyway. I thought he was going to die, but he, he was going to get glimpsed away, but he BKB'd, so it cancelled the glimpse, and I thought he was going to die because of it. Oh, that was so close to him stealing Aegis, though. Did he get anything from that? I don't think so. Close. Oh, there's a quick pause coming out. Was that completely blind, or was there a trap in the pit? Because if that was completely blind, that's really impressive. I'm going to go with blind because it makes it cooler. Just sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah. Got ourselves a bit of a pause. During this time, though, I just want to ask, could you give us our be your best Brooklyn Joey Wheeler impression? The Red Eyes uh, no. Black Dragon? <laughs> no. I'm so bad at accents or anything like that. I'm not going to embarrass myself. I tried. If it was I something that to. I had even a, a small capability of being able to do, I would consider it. But I'll probably end up offending somebody. <laughs> yo, yo. Meanwhile, getting that Mjolnir online. These fights have been close, but Vici now starting to pull away. These fights have been wild. I don't even think they are pulling away. They just got one good fight, right? Where they doom the Darkster and stun the Dazzle. I think it's still anybody's game. Obviously, the Aegis makes a big difference, but this PL is still a big problem. He gave the shard over to the Doom, too, and he's going into a refresher. Yeah, I like that. We've talked about the shard already this tournament. I mean, it, it is really strong. 
Is that a Maelstrom? Yeah, DK has Maelstrom as well, so they're going to have double Mjolnir up at some, time, uh, some point soon. It does make PL's game a lot harder, especially the active and the, um, the static charge. I think it's called. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it feels really good. Because obviously you put it on the target that the PL wants to kill, and the constant shield uh, procs going to get through those illusions even quicker. Wing forward into the Infernal Blade. They go after Lanham. They've got the Spirit Vessel on him. A quick kill uh, on the Dazzle. That's they're about to come high ground, and I'm just sitting under my tower syndrome, unfortunately. Oh my god, <laughs> this tower melts. Oh my goodness. They're going to have to Ooh, try Static here. Storm. Boyoyo, though, he's over to the side. Will they be able to do anything with the BKB pop by Borax? He's going to try and roll out of harm's way, but the right click's coming in from Ori, who's able to go over the trees and stops him from rolling back into the base. Now, Dragon Tail, right click's Good in. Wall. All of that's happening. They've got themselves the wall down, but the Doom comes down to the dark suit. They get the Kona XSS. It's going to be three heroes dead on the side of Aster. Now they're all going to finish it off with the fourth. They'll take out White Album. All of them finally falls, but is it going to be able to be stopped by Monet? This charge is on from Vici. Monet has nothing left in the tank, and they will get the full team wipe. Vici will take the 2-0 and knock Aster down to the lower bracket. I really think Lanham's going to be kicking himself after that fight. You know, the fact that he's the one that dies first, sitting under his tower, as the push is about to come into the high ground. You know, we've seen it so many times before, but a play with his level of experience will be, be like, you know, I really shouldn't have let that happen kind of thing. Yeah. But, it, you know, it, it, it happens to everybody sometimes, right? So... Yeah, really well played. What a great game as well. So much back and yeah. forth. You really thought that Asta had it in the bag when this PL started to come online massively, right? Then one good fight where they're able to take the second Aegis and then one great high bound.